Okay, uh, deciding whether you use gray gamma 1.8 or gray gamma 2.2 for your digital negatives. Um, it, I, I've had a lot of questions about that and really the easiest answer is you should use um, the one that the step wedge you're using was made in and hopefully it's a uh, gray gamma 2.2 uh, 1.8 is older, it's a legacy thing, um, but if you have a machine that's using, for example, 2.2 and the image that you're, uh, the step wedge that you're dealing with is 1.8, some things are going to be mismatched, so you want the two numbers to match. Uh, regardless of the workflow you use to make digital negatives, consistency is the key to achieving repeatable results. Uh, a lot has been written about color management, but most of it focuses on the printing side. Um, since a lot of the process of making digital negatives involves some sort of grayscale step wedge, like you see here on this page, it's worth questioning whether or not the original step wedge was made with gray gamma 1.8 or 2.2. Now, if you, you know, which is why I have it noted of mine, but if you uh, download a step wedge from the internet or buy one that comes with someone's digital negative system, you may not know if that step wedge was made in 1.8 or 2.2. And even if the step wedge was made in an RGB color mode, the gray gamma still makes a difference. The person who made the step wedge has a specific gray gamma set in Photoshop. And hopefully the creator of the step wedge will share both the RGB color setting and the gray gamma setting so you can make those match. But if they did not, then you can use the info panel to figure out which gray gamma they used. Okay. And... Let's, uh, let's do this in two parts. Let's look at uh, color settings, see where they are. The color settings are in, in edit and color settings. And you see this uh, panel that comes up. Uh, the RGB and the gray are what we're looking at. Now, right now I have this set to gray gamma 1.8. Okay, and notice that this file is gray gamma 2.2. Now, in you can't see the difference, but we can open up the uh, info palette uh, or info panel, sorry, to see the difference. Go to Window and Info, or just press F8. And it's worth me zooming in a little bit. Now, what you want to do is you want to pay attention over here to the K value. Now, if I take my mouse and move over to 70, this is supposed to be 70%, and yet the K value is reading 77. Maybe easier to do this uh, up on the top. Let's look at 35%. This is supposed to be 35%, and the K value down here is 41. 30 is actually 36. That's because this was made in gamma 2.2, and my color setting is unfortunately in 1.8. Now watch what happens when I change it to the correct color setting. Gray gamma 2.2, okay. Now 35% reads 35%. 45% reads 45%. Let's go down here to 80. 80% 80 reads 80% in the K value. Okay, so 20% reads 20% over here, right? So look, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, etc. Right? So now th that's in line. Um, and that's really all you need to know. You just need to have those two things uh, matching. If they don't match, if you've tried every single gray gamma color setting, and you still can't get it to match, then you need to um, you know, probably build your own uh, step wedge because there's something wrong in the workflow that the person who made it, um, whether it's in the making of the step wedge, something was glitchy, or in sending it to you via internet, something was glitchy. So, but in short, you want those numbers to match. You want 40% to show up as 40% in the K value.